stood out on defense and the way you guys were able to hold them down a lot of the night? I think, you know, going to the you know first quarter, second quarter, um, we, I think we didn't do a good job in uh, Drummond. He was getting a lot of uh, first rebound. He was rolling, and uh, we were, like, reacting to him. Instead of being in and then going out, uh, we get a lot of offensive rebound, a lot of uh, easy one with Andrew Drummond. Um, then we were late, they were able to pass the ball to the three, they would make some shots, or they were breaking down our defense. But coming out in the second half, I think we did a better job just being in and then going out. So we, they were reacting to us. Uh, we were able to you know, get some uh, deflection, Dante, um, Dante Bledsoe, me, myself, Brooke was you know, um, in the paint, covering everybody. And they were able to, you know, get some deflection and run. You guys have played with the lead a lot this year. And there's been games where it's disappeared and you've either lost or it's gotten very close. Do you feel like you guys are getting better at that now as the season's gone on? Uh, yes. I think we, we're getting better, but I think we can get a lot better. Um, I think we, at times, when the, we're up 10, we're up 12, at the end of uh, the quarter, we, all of a sudden, they give up two threes, give up an easy layup, and uh, we up four. You know, instead of just uh, you know being focused and closing out, you know, the quarter and uh, the halves. But um, we definitely getting better. But we can be can be a lot better and um, a little bit more careful. The ball was moving everywhere today. One that stood out was when George cross court passed it to DJ. What was your assessment of the ball movement? When uh, George first quarter, you first like quarter cross court pass from corner to corner, so he hit DJ in the at, opposite corner. And DJ knocked down the shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, especially that play. And also, I think in the third quarter, when I think Pat drove it, Dante drove it, DJ drove it, um, George Hill drove it, and then I think the final part, Pat, he knocked down the shot. Something like I don't remember exactly uh, who knocked down the shot, but you know, the ball was moving. You know, you know everybody's ready. Everybody got to you know, be into it. Everybody got to be you know, in uh, game shape. And um, that's what, you know, they're ready. And, uh, we move the ball, everybody's touched the ball, everybody's knocking down shots, everybody's playing, everybody's having fun, so you know, that's what we're trying to do. What can you say about DJ staying ready? Oh, yeah, DJ, of course, staying ready, uh, played real well defensively, he's running the floor offensively, uh, making the right play, knocking down shots. We definitely need him. Sterling had 10 rebounds, Dante 7. What is it about? Sterling had 10 rebounds? Yeah. Is that a career high? Uh, he's, he's had that many before. Yeah, I think it's what, in high school? No, I think it was magic. <laughs> oh, wow. But just the aggression of I'm joking, shots. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, man, um, you know, having a guy like Sterling rebound the ball, it's big. You know, we definitely need guys to, you know, come back and help me and Brooke. Uh, and especially, I think Dante and uh, Sterling have done a great job with that. And uh, we definitely, they got to keep it going. We definitely need them to, uh, you know, keep it going. I feel like a lot of guys, when rebounds are coming down, they expect you to grab them. And Sterling will, is one of the few guys who will just run in. And he's, he's going for it no matter who's the closest to him. Yeah, that's good. You know, that, that's good. We need guys like that, you know, that go and try to, like, die for the ball, try to go get it, you know. Does that change your approach at all when you find out that Griffin's not going to play? I mean, do you just take care of what you got to do? Or do uh, no, it doesn't change my approach. You know, coming to the game, you know, what I'm thinking, my mindset is to win. It doesn't matter who plays. Uh, Mr. Twin. Obviously, when you're not having a guy like Blake Griffin, that's a really great player, um, a lot of experience uh, playing. Now you gotta, you know, gotta figure out who you're guarding, who's going, you know, go against you. Uh, you know, they had uh, Marcus Morris, but obviously, like my approach is to like go out there, play hard, make plays, you know, dominate. Doesn't matter, you know, who who plays or not.